Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me Desiree and we are here today because I wanted to share with you some things, some makeup, skincare, and a skincare tool that I am saving for a rainy day. And by rainy day, I mean a day when I got nothing going on. Like, to, like today, I just looked out the window and it's so bright. I just looked directly at it. It's so bright, it's cloudy, it looks like it might rain later, who knows. But a day like this where there's not a lot going on and I have a bunch of free time and I have no plans, and I can just try out a winged liner today and try to master the winged liner for once or um, try out some lipstick that I'll never wear out of the house or some press on nails, for example, a fake eyelashes. I'll try out those today and just walk around the house batting my fake eyelashes around. Um, so these are all things that I save for days like that that I need to experiment with the, experiment with the products more. I don't wanna try them out for the first time when I'm getting ready for work and uh, yeah. Let me just share with you what those products are. I hope you 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 get what I mean by rainy day products, right? I hope. Um, so yeah, the first thing I'm saving for a rainy day when I can just experiment with it all day, no worries that I'm gonna freak out the people at work, is from Pure. This is the Bronze and Brighten Cheek Palette. I guess the shade's called Dreamer. I bought this on Poshmark because I can't even remember, remember who was talking about this, but they said they loved it so much. It was a declutter and I it just came to me who it was and it went away. Who was it? Oh, maybe I'll remember by the end of the video. Anyway, it was a declutter. This person said they loved this palette and they wear it all the time. And I was like, oh my God, that looks amazing. I want it. And I went to Poshmark and I found it because it is a discontinued product and I bought it, but I haven't used it yet. Um, so the blush looks looks fine. The highlight looks fine, but the bronzer, it's so metallic. Like all these things are so shiny. I haven't been brave enough to try out that super shiny bronzer. And I like a bronzer that has some shimmer, or some luminosity to it. That's that's what I like. But this one's a little much. And I haven't been brave enough to try it out, like right when I'm getting ready for work. Like, let me just try out that metallic bronzer today. You know what I mean? So this is definitely something I'm saving for a day like today when I got nothing going on. I could just walk around the house with a metallic bronzer on and no one's going to say a thing. That's what that's for. The next thing, oh my gosh, is from ColourPop. It's their freckle pen. So I didn't know this existed. I bought this, I don't know, two months ago, maybe even three. And uh, it feels like it's been forever that I've had this, but I think this had come out maybe that day. And I, I hadn't been, I don't look at ColourPop's website every day, but I remember being on ColourPop's website because I was looking for something. And I was like, they have a freckle pen, I'll try that. And I think it happened to launch that day. Anyway. I've had it for a long time. I've never, so I used it one day in the house. Actually, my boyfriend drew it on me. I was like, hey, I got this pen. It's meant for freckles. Can I do some freckles on you? And I put some freckles all over his face and he looked like a little kid. It was so cute. And then he did some on me, but I was trying to tell him that people buy these pens to do like freckles like this. Like, I don't know, not anything super grouped. And he did these freckles on me. That it was like a circle like this and like, 500 freckles inside like it was two perfect circles of freckles and I was like I looked in the mirror and I was like oh my god but thanks it was fun it was fun to use on a day when we were like doing nothing rinsed off really easily I've tried this every now and then like before I wash my face and I just can't get used to looking at myself with extra little spots on my face this is a rainy day product if I've ever heard of one um it's you know it's a freckle pen and it's just meant to draw little freckles on you. So I'm just gonna draw a few here so you can see. And one of the things I struggle with is keeping it like to a dot, because I feel like I dot it and drag it like the tiniest bit, and it's like a splotch. And then I pat over it. Like I've watched people put fake freckles on plenty of times in videos, can't master it myself. This is not unlike a winged liner, where I'm like, I need a thousand times practice with this, and maybe I'll get it down one day. Speaking of winged liner, I got a liquid liner. This is from Kat Von D. It's the Mad Max Brown uh, Tattoo Liner. I got this in a mystery bag. Was it earlier this year that I got that mystery bag? Um, anyway, it's the liquid liner that they're famous for. And I have it in the shade Mad Max Brown. And I cannot master it to save my life. So I every now and then I'm like, I'm just going to try it out. And I've always fantasized about being really good at liquid liner. But the shape of my eyes, as you can see, I have like a deep socket and I have this, my brow bone is very prominent. So when I do liquid liner, I either have to go like all the way out here where it's just like a straight thing, or I have to go like in and then over this brow bone and it just looks really weird. 
and I've never been able to be good at it. I wear, I mean, maybe once a year I try it out again, but I've always wanted to master it and be like, a, okay, just put on some liquid liner and you fill it in and it's like, oh my God, how'd you do that? I'm never going to be that person, but I've always fantasized about it. Another Kat Von D thing are these little Technicolor crayon sticks. I think that's what they're called. I feel like they still have these on the website, but they might be like on clearance now or maybe even on Sephora on clearance. So it's these three really bright colored crayon sticks. There's one called Electric Blue, Wild Orange, and Bubblegum. And I've worn these every now and then, and I always, always forget about them. But of course, I have this fantasy of wearing these on my eyelids or on the lower lash line or in more of like a graphic kind of way. I love when I see people do like some sort of just graphic colorful thing. Like they'll put a big, like a little dot here in the inner corner of bright pink and then that's it, no other eyeshadow or maybe like a champagne eyeshadow, like nothing crazy. Or just like the pink wing maybe or a little blue up here by the eyebrow or just something like that. I've been fantasizing about doing that weird graphic, not weird, but that really cool graphic kind of colorful makeup and I fantasize about it. I really like these crayons, they stay put. And uh, I've used them as liner on the lower lash, not on the lower lash line, but in the waterline, they work really well. They stay put, they are bulletproof. But I wanna wear them in a different kind of way and I feel like today is one of those days where I'm gonna put a little blue accent on my eyebrows or a little like inner corner like flick of pink or something like that. And I remember when I was younger, I used to do eyeliner right here, like this. I remember getting a red eyeliner. Well, it actually, it was a Wet n Wild pink lip liner. Like one of those pencils that's this long that they have. And I would do liner with that all the time. Like liner on the top, liner on the bottom. And then I would get it here and I would draw it like this and do like a line right here. And I always want to do that again, but I always forget. I always forget when I'm putting makeup on. I was like, oh, I wanted to do that liner. I have to literally leave myself a note to like do that cool graphic liner you used to do. Um, but I kind of want to do that again. I don't think these are sharp enough to do a little like line like that, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay. Two other like things are fake lashes and nails. So I got these nails in a subscription box and I think, no, where did I get these? Was it the Walmart box? So Walmart puts out a box, um, uh, has a subscription box that comes out every couple of months and this was in the last box if I'm not mistaken they're from Salon Perfect and it's these fake nails um, I do not like this new Salon Perfect branding at all it looks like Dollar Tree that's just that's just something I'm saying um, but I feel like fake nails don't look that good I have seen so many people do fake nails like if you go get your nails done they make the nail for your nail exactly what your nail looks like but when I see people put these on, it's always like over the nail. Like it's too big, too wide. It goes over the edge here. And I just never really like the way that they look. The colors and the designs are really cool, but I've, I've never been a fake nail person like these kind of nails. Um, but I have them and I'm like, might as well just try them out. Who knows? Maybe I'll love them. I've never tried them. I might love them. Same with these eyelashes. I got these in an advent calendar last year last year and they're still here i keep wanting to give these away but it was like bent like this to fit in the little box for the advent calendar day so i feel like it'll look like i used them or they're worn down or something if i give them away but these are from ardell they're the wispies and it comes with a little glue this is what they look like and i just i can't bring myself to try them i don't know something in my eye um oh anyway um and then i have three more things this, oh my God, this is from Beauty Counter. It's the Lotus Glow Cleansing Balm. I've talked about this in another video. I hate this, I hate this so much. I feel like it was a waste of money. Why did I buy this? I'm crazy about cleansing balms right now and I was like, I wanna try the most luxurious one and I hate it so much. To me, it feels like Vaseline. I don't think it rinses off. It's really difficult to get off my face. Um, but I feel like on a rainy day, a day like today, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to really work at it. I'm going to really try my best to like this and make it work the way they intended. I'm going to try it as a mask. I feel like I'm going to do my, my best to give this another shot. And I feel like today is the day. Um, but yeah, let me open it. Just in case you didn't see my other video when I, went, when I went on and on and on about how much I hated it. It's beautiful. It feels like a freaking brick. 
You could hurt somebody with how heavy this is. Um, and this is what it looks like. That's all I've used. And I hated it. I hated it right away. But if you have this and you love it, let me know how you're using it. What am I doing wrong? Um, but I think a day like today is a day that I might just, you know what? Today's the day I'm going to fall in love with that cleansing balm. <gasps> what if I fall in love with it? That would be amazing. Okay. The last thing that I'm saving for a rainy day is this. This was sent to me by the brand Spa Sciences. And it's the they sent three different ones. Like they asked me, hey, which one do you want? And I said this one. Um, because So it's a diamond microdermabrasion and pore extraction skin resurfacing serum. It's one of these handheld things that like sucks at your skin. It's supposed to like pull all the stuff out of your pores. And then it has this tiny microdermabrasion thing that like is supposed to like, I don't know, really exfoliate your skin. I'm not really wanting to use that thing. I'm wanting to use the suck, the sucky part. But it's also something I want to save for a rainy day, like today. Because, uh, so this is what it looks like. And you put these little tips on it, like this one. Um, well, I'll take this off. And you put a tip on it. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to show you, I think. A tip like this, and then you turn it on and it sucks at your face. And I feel like I want to try this so badly, but I'm like, what if I'm sucking at the face and it's leaving me bruises or it's making me super red? So I want to try it on a day like today where I'm off tomorrow. And, um, or I'm not off tomorrow, but I have like nothing to do afterwards. Maybe I'm wearing a mask, so maybe it'll be like, like, I don't know. But this is definitely something I'm saving for a rainy day because it needs some experimentation. And yeah, I cannot fit it back in the box. I'll fix it later. But yeah, those are the things I'm saving for a rainy day. Things I need to experiment with. Things I'm not brave enough to use for the first time right before when I'm getting ready for work. Um, things I want to try like a crazy eyeliner one day on my day off or something. Um, yeah, anyway, let me know some things you're saving for a rainy day, things you want to just go crazy with one day when you're at home doing nothing. I would love to know what they are. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you later in another one. Goodbye.